37 miles off the coast of Northwest Australia, here on a remote island with no full-time residents, Chevron is building a $54 billion liquefied natural gas plant. Everything about Gorgon is on a scale that defies description. This stuff is massive, right? This stuff is enormous. Well, Gorgon is the largest project that Chevron has ever undertaken, and uh, it is the largest resource project in Australia. Gorgon is on Barrow Island, about 700 miles north of Perth. Its sister development, Wheatstone, is on the mainland, on the Australian outback. Together, they'll produce about 4 billion cubic feet a day of natural gas. I see what's happening in the developing world, and I see what their needs are. And they need power, for example. Where is it going to come from? It's going to come from natural gas. Both projects take gas pumped from undersea deposits, clean it, freeze it, and load it onto tankers bound for Japan and elsewhere in Asia. What are we looking at here? You're looking at the inside of an LNG tank. This tank is 92 meters in diameter, 47 meters tall. And once you're producing, this is going to be full of liquefied natural gas. We'll, we'll fill it up every couple days. We'll produce enough LNG to fill this tank. That's big. That's very big. Wheatstone is set to start production in 2016. So far, it's on target. Gorgon, which was greenlighted at $37 billion, is wildly over budget and a year behind schedule. It was one of the worst in the industry. It's going to be probably, if the Harvard Business School want to put, you know, a project or a case study of what not to do, that would be um, a Gorgon. Well, the Gorgon project, the whole industry has been stressed over the last few years. Um, the cost of goods and services has more than doubled. And we saw the Australian dollar uh, grow rapidly, and certainly there were labor, the cost of labor were higher than we expected. Uh, we also had more cyclones that went through. So yes, costs went up. But we think the Gorgon project will be uh, a very nice contributor to us for a long time to come.